I was saying in, before in my intro, it's very much it reminds me of when I was that age, when I was Anne's age, and kind of there is that one moment, whether it's a, usually it's the summer because you have all this time away from school right. or college, that you just suddenly, you know, you find yourself. Was that the kind of, you know, what were you wanting to explore with this this world? Well, actually, it was really the, the film. We always we really wanted to make this coming of age story, and um, and still, yeah. I, I don't know. I mean, we we both felt. Uh, I, I worked on it with the with the writer a lot, and we both had this strong feeling of you know growing up in a small village, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, that's what happens when you grow up in a small village. You know, so, you know, people. You you if if you you grow up and you feel like you're different, you yeah. know, from the people you grow up with, for what reason, you know, for any reason whatsoever, uh, you feel like you want to. You know, you want to go out, but you don't know you don't know anything else except for that feeling of, you know, belonging to that village. So, and then some, when somebody else comes in, then that might help to sort of get out of your life. And and, and was that where you found the dramatic arc from the kind of like the experimental text that you kind yeah. of like spoke about? That, yeah, I that's think that that was basically the story. You know, that was basically what we sort of built the the dramatic arch on, but we never, you know, we never really, we never, we really consider this to be like a coming of age. And, mm. we, and, um, and so it's, it's also this sort of feeling of, you know, you belong somewhere, but then something happens and, you know, you still belong, but not really. You sort mm. of dis distance yourself from, you know, from the people that you've grown up with, you're still exactly. in the same place, exactly. but you've changed. And they've not necessarily changed. Exactly, and so we, but we really wanted her to sort of stay in that, you know, sort of st not sort of completely distance herself because it would have been really easy to, you know, have her go and go away to the city. Mm. But she doesn't. We really wanted her to sort of because you still belong, but you don't. Mm. You know, so it never, it's still home, but it never feels like home anymore. Mm. So, and it does make you think what Anne's journey is going to be next, kind of like staying there with Lena. And I don't know, she's is there a sequel? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> it might be, might be, might be, yeah. but she's probably gonna leave. You know, mm. she's if you, if you grow up in a village like that and you want to do something, you know, you have to leave. I mean, I grew up in a village like that, right? And um, there's nothing there. I mean, if you want to go to college or whatever, mm. you have to leave anyway. So. And, and can I just, it's beautifully shot. Um, I think that's one of those, the things that made, you know, that drew me to it in the beginning. It's just so, and your, your director of photography, you said, you know, he, earlier on that he's just it's a genius. And, and you were really lucky. Was it always going to be set in summer? Was, it, was that the, again, c kind of coming out of the story boarding that you were doing and, and, and the experimentation was... Yeah, no, it was always about the summer that everything changed because that's what happens, you know, over a summer everything can change. Mm. You know, it's like because you, you don't have to go to school, you can sort of get out of your routine, and then, you know, I don't know, it's, it really felt like it had to be summer, mm. so. Uh, well, the, the reason it is a setting, because we really wanted to have this sort of closed community kind of thing, uh, and so the, the, this power plant is really the, the, the thing that holds people together. Mm. And uh, I'm sure you have that in England as well. You have like certain towns where, you know, the whole social life mm. and people, you know, the whole lives of people are sort of centered, literally centered around this sort of, you know, this, yeah. this plant or this factory. Yeah. And so in a sense, that's what we really wanted. And, um, and when we came, it was actually the, the original play was sort of situated on the spot where we shot it. We went to look for other locations but we ended up in this place anyway. Yeah, she's, she is a really, really talented young actress. She mm. was um, not even 18, I think, when we shot the film. Wow. And, uh, but she's, uh, she'd already been in, in you know, several uh, TV series, like s short movies. And, uh, but so we did, you know, we did a big casting with like mm. ca a casting agent, et cetera. And, um, but I immediately liked her because she has this sort of like very strong inner world. But we do have like a lot of very, you know, talented young uh, actors in Holland who sort of grow up in, in television kind of, mm -hmm. you know, in television series. And they're really, really talented. So they're very, ex like the brother, mm. he's, you know, he was in this, this Dutch movie when he was like 12 or something and he's been playing in 
lots of films ever since. So they're all they're really experienced actors. Now we had a very small budget because we had like uh, um, I don't know how many pounds that is. Uh, Just do it. In, in, we'll it was like uh, f five hundred thousand euros, which is like even for Holland is like tiny, 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 little, but yeah. tiny budget. So we were at a certain point. We were like, okay, either we're just gonna forget about it, or we're just gonna shoot it for a little money. Uh -huh. So, but I had a really, really amazing crew with very experienced people. So that really helped, and uh, a lot of the actors were not as expensive as some other actors because they were amateurs. So, mm. <laughs> so that, that kind of helped. Yeah. So, no, but it was basically, I had a really, really good crew who worked for very little money, so. And did it take a long time to kind of like, both in, in kind of like pre-production and then filming, what was the, the space that you'd been working with this film? How long have you been with this film? Well, actually we shot for 20 days and I had a full-time job at the Film Academy in Amsterdam at, at that time. So I, uh, I spent three weeks of pre-production and 20 days of shooting during the summer. So did you just like and take, and take holiday I, or something? No, yeah, I took like <sighs> two months, I, I took eight weeks off. That's and amazing. then after the last day of shooting, 100 new students arrived at the Film Academy. Like the yeah. day, so that was what a bit did you do over the summer? That was oh, a bit I made a film. <laughs> yeah, so it was wow. a bit, uh, that was a bit uh, That's amazing, hectic. that's amazing. It was a bit hectic, so. Amazing determination, though, from you to, to want to get this film made. Yeah, well, it was basically that we sort of, you know, either that you get at a certain point, you know, with making films that you have to say, either you're going to do it or you're not, you're not mm. going to do it. You know, you're not going to sort of, at a certain point, you're not going to get like more money. You know, it's just going right. to be either you do it or you don't. So she's an outsider, but she's like kind of a different outsider than than Lena is because she's like not from the city, but she's like from the next village. So she's like from previ previous generation where even the next village was like, you know, <laughs> sort of very exotic. But she's, you know, she uh, she I, I think she's never. Really, um, the whole idea behind it was that she never really fitted in, you know, because it is such a close community. You know, she never really fitted in, and she, and of course, she's very mm. sort of depressed, and you know, she hates everything. You know, she's just very angry, and she kind of hates her life, and she's, so she sort of, because she never, you know, she never went out for herself. So that's basically what the character of the mother is. Yeah. We like to, we really like to think that we're sort of very you know that shit like that doesn't happen in our country because we're all so liberal and blah 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 blah. But it's it's actually it's not that way. I mean it, it is you know all this shit is really happening. I think there's many places where you know there's so many dysfunctional stuff going on, and uh, and it still happens and nobody talks about it. I mean there was like this story of. This this twelve year old girl or eleven year old girl who who went on a school camp. I mean, she was still in you know in in primary school, and she had a baby because she got pregnant from oh, her stepfather. Yeah, you know, and it happens in Holland. You know, so stuff like that. It just I think, you know, these these really dysfunctional things. They still happen in many places, and you know you wonder how can it happen that an 11 year old girl gets pregnant and nobody mm. knows, you know, nobody notices or people don't talk about it or you get these stories of, you know, people abusing young kids or whatever and the whole town will just you know, brush it know, under the carpet. Everybody they know. knows, so, but so nobody talks complicity. about it. So, that, uh, so I think that still happens and we all like to believe that it's not the case, but it still happens. So. That's what we sort of... You really wanted to bring it in to kind of like highlight... Yeah, but not make it like really sort of the issue of the film, but that is what, you know, that is what some mm. communities are like, you mm. know, and stuff like that does happen.